Hello, chess friends. Welcome back to another lesson with Coach Nathan. Um, this is a very important lesson that we're going to look at. Um, it's on defending. That means when a piece is attacked, you try to defend it and make it safe. Defending means making your pieces. When do you have to make your pieces safe? When they're being attacked. <clears throat> so, it's your reaction to the attack. Okay. Um, you should know what attack and capture is if we're doing this lesson. And, more or less, I think you do. The rank and order. Okay. Um, we'll look at different ways to defend. If you defend precisely, you'll be a very good chess player. It'll be very hard to beat you. Let's try a position. Okay, so you must know what attack is. The queen is aiming at the knight, giving an attack. Thankfully, the blacks move here, or the queen would capture. Let's go back and look at what moves the queen, the black knight can make. The queen is very strong here. It takes away a lot of squares of the knights. The knight might want to go to b3, but the queen is aiming. In fact, the queen takes b3, d3, e4, and e6 away from the knight. So the, the first way we learn to defend is moving away. We have to find a safe square to move away. In this position, d7, b7, a6, a4 are safe squares. If the knight lands on any of these four squares, you're doing good. The queen cannot capture you. Let's look at another way of defending. Now we add a piece. We added a rook on g8. The queen is still on e3, aiming at the knight. And the knight can still go to four safe. Now we're going to look at another way to defend called protection. The pieces work together and communicate. If this rook can aim at the knight safely, then it wouldn't make sense for the queen to capture it anymore, and the knight would be safe. Now the knight, the rook, can move to g5 to protect the knight, but that's not safe because the queen would then take the rook. Instead, try a move like rook to c8, putting it on the same file as the knight. The rook is on the same file as the knight, and the queen doesn't want to capture anymore. Okay. In this position, black's bishop being attacked by the white rook on d5. Now, there's lots of moves to run away. The bishop can run to c6. Looks like the bishop can run to e8. Notice, do not put your bishop on d7. Although you're running away from this attack, you're walking into another one from the rook from the front. So be careful. Um, same way, d3 is not the safe move with the bishop. Because the rook would capture it. Okay, you, look, six is a safe move to f1, and e8, and six, bishop to c4 is a good move, attacking the rook, well as bishop to a4. You also have a knight. The knight can be used in this position, to aim at the bishop and protect it, defending it. Knight to a3 safely defends. If you try to put your knight on d4, it looks like it, it looks like it protects your bishop, but it's not a safe move because the rook would capture. <coughs> okay. 
A. Here we go. Protecting. You're the queen on E5. Aiming right at the knight on H5. Use your pawn to protect your knight. There's another way of protecting. The knight can move to f4. Here it is protected by the pawn. Okay, pieces of the same, but if it were white's move, white would capture the knight and win. If it was black's move, black has a couple options. This is one we haven't seen before, but let's see. Okay, so um, if it were black's move, black could also, being attacked, capture the knight on b3. Another option is to play b6 and protect the knight with. Here, the knight on f6 is attacking this rook. Now, if we know the rank and order of pieces, the rook is worth five points, and the knight's worth three. So we have to do something about this. Also, the rook is unprotected. Now, one option, again, is to capture. You capture, they capture back. You've traded a bishop for a knight, and that's three points for three points. It's fair exchange, that's okay. And your rook is safe. No more knight. Rook. Capturing the defense. Okay. Here. The black pieces are very well placed. The bishop here on d5 is being protected. It's very good. This pawn's this pawn is saving the day because um, this bishop's very strong. It's aiming right at the queen, making a very good attack on the diagonal. By the way, always look up and down the diagonals in every position because sometimes stuff becomes hidden on the diagonals. We have to really watch our eyes. Okay, so here's an attack, and I hope we'd all see it in a game. Another way to defend is putting a piece in between. We call that interposing. We are to play e4. Now you're blocking. Another word for blocking is interposing. Any, any word you want to use. And the bishop can no longer capture your queen. You defend it by interposing. All right, now let's look at my favorite way of defending. <clears throat> Here, it is white to move, but black is aiming the queen at the knight on a3. This knight is not protected by anything. It's also aiming at the queen, but if it was black's choice, they'd take the knight and win three points. Because if queen takes queen, then pawn takes queen. And both sides have traded their queens, and that's a fair exchange. So we have to worry about the knight on a3. A great way to defend, it's my favorite way, is called line clearing. You move the piece, and you uncover, you clear the line to protect. Pawn goes to b4 attacking the queen on a5. Now the knight is protected by the queen. This is a great move to play b4 because also you're attacking the queen on a5. It's got to move. So you defend it and attack at the same time. It's a very strong move. Okay. Here. 
the white side might say, uh-oh, I might have to give up the knight because it's trapped. The knight cannot go to g8, f7, f5, or g4 because the queen is so strong it looks down both diagonals at the same time. Even a bishop, if a bishop was here on e6, it would also be trapping the knight. So know that. You could trap a knight with a queen or a bishop on the side of the board. But there is a saving move here, and it's another line here. Let's look at the diagonal that the knight is on. There's a pawn on the diagonal and also a bishop. If we look carefully, if the pawn wasn't here, bishop on e3 would be protecting the knight. And you can save your knight the queen. There is this move, f5. Clearing the line, opening the diagonal for the bishop to protect the knight. The great thing here is the pawn on f5 is also being protected by the knight. Line clearing. Okay, now here's some puzzles. We have a few minutes, we'll do some puzzles here. It's white to move here. They have to worry about their rook on f2. There's a rook on f7 aiming right down to take it. Okay, what does white do? White has a lot of options. You can move to protect, you move to uh, f4. The pawn on g3 is protecting the rook. And move rook to f6. The pawn on g5 is protecting the rook on f6. You can use your king and move over to e2 and the rook. And of course, you can also move away to a safe square. That's safe. And my favorite, line clearing. You can move the pawn on d4 to d5, opening up the diagonal. So now that the bishop on c5 is protecting on and if the black rook takes rook and bishop takes rook then all is safe and you're going to win this game okay okay what's happening white pieces being attacked what do we do this one's also a line clearing move line controlling rather might be kind of hard to see it looks like the knight might be out of luck in this position knights get knights don't like to be on the side of the board notice this the knight will get trapped but let's look cannot go to g7 go to b6 because uh a7 captures cannot capture on c5 because queen takes cannot go to c3 because queen takes cannot go the knight cannot go to because queen takes but what do we do well, the pawn doesn't help here. Hmm. King cannot get over to the knight. I wish this rook could help us. This rook can. Put the rook to f4. The rook's protected by the pawn. The rook is protecting the knight on a4. The line controlling piece. Controls the whole line. The queen doesn't want to take. Uh-oh, because then rook captures. Here is another line controlling piece. There's three line controlling pieces the queens, the bishops, the rook. Okay, next position. Okay, here we are. We have the white pieces. The queen is making a blatant attack, a brazen attack on the Rook on d4. You can move your rook, of course, to safety. And you can also, if you want to make a safe move, maybe here. That's not exactly safe, but have a rook to h4. Um, and it's safe there. You can also use your knight. Remember when there's knights about, take your time, 